Hi there, this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films and welcome to our random review. I like to keep up to date with films, so this random review is from 1932 and it's Carol Lombard in No More Orchids, directed by Walter Lang, um, who also directed Carol Lombard in Love Before Breakfast. Um, this is a, a kind of burn on demand DVD, because sadly there's just not enough Carol Lombard films on Blu-ray. Um, for someone whose life was tragically cut way too short, um, Lombard still appeared in 101 films, which I am trying to get all of them, obviously, because I'm a huge Lombard fan. You know, she did quite a lot of silent films. She made, she was in quite a lot of bathing beauty films um, before she kind of came into her own in the 30s. Um, again, before her life was tragically cut short. Um, this one is one of those films that the co-stars are absolutely fantastic. Um, Walter Connolly, who's in a lot of stuff. Again, a name you might not recognise, but a face you'll certainly recognise. Um, Louise Closser Hale, who was in Duck Soup and Shanghai Express with Dietrich and lots of other things. Um, Walter Lang directed The King and I um, and as I said he directed Lombard and Love Before Breakfast which is in one of the Kino Lorber um, Carol Lombard sets it also co-stars Lyle Talbot who is in Plan 9 from Outer Space um, and Jameson Thompson who, or Jameson Thoms Thomas um, who again you'll probably recognise his face he was in an, an Happened One Night um, the Invisible Man, Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. Um, and this uses the kind of age-old template of um, a woman who falls in love with a man but she's supposed to marry somebody else and um, who's obviously a square and not for her um, and will she end up marrying the man she loves you know we've seen it a hundred times before but this is pre-code and it also goes to a pretty dark place at the end of the film which if you are a Carol Lombard fan um, it's actually quite difficult to watch um, especially if you know how Carol Lombard met her tragic end of her life. But let's start happy. So again she plays um, somebody who has a grandfather who's very rich and controlling. I mean when we meet him he is lit like Dracula. He's lit from underneath and it's the big huge fireplace and he's a huge leather chair and he controls um, people and people have to grovel at him. He's a bit like the character um, and it's a wonderful life potter that kind of controls the town and has people begging. Um, so he controls all the money. We're introduced to Carol Lombard's character as an ocean liner is held up so she can come in a seaplane and meet up um, with her grandmother, played by Hale, um, and her father, played by Walter Connolly, where she meets... Lyle Talbot and they do kind of have an antagonistic um, flirting relationship, courting relationship as Talbot. Money isn't important to him. Um, obviously it's no surprise that films in the 30s and 40s were all about money and the rich and you know how money's not that important because you just lost it all. Um, but he doesn't want to marry Carol Lombard because Again, she's so used to having things her own way. She's so used to having all the money given to her by her controlling grandfather. Um, 
And as Talbot says, I won't even be able to afford to give you orchids. And that's where the title No More Orchids comes from, as Carol Lombard says, I don't care. I, it doesn't matter if I don't have any more um, orchids. But her grandfather has a devious scheme. Um, ever since she was young, he wants her to marry this prince, um, played by Jameson Thomas, again playing a square, and um, he doesn't like dogs. I mean... Um, Whereas Walter Connolly, who is fantastic in the film, and he goes in an interesting character arc himself, um, he has like a scrapbook of a photo album of like his favourite dog called Michael, who sadly died or was killed, was run over, um, and a picture of a turkey and how he likes turkeys and he's got a turkey farm. Um, and there's a nice joke where he asks the prince you know do you like turkeys and the prince says i don't know i've never been to that country um but the grandfather has arranged this and he is holding something over walter connolly carol lombard's dad so she you know goes to her grandfather and says i've met this other guy who's not rich and he's not you know a prince and I want to marry him, and he refuses, and he threatens to expose um, Walter Connolly, and that's why Carol Lombard ditches um, Lyle Talbot and says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna marry the prince. I've just decided to marry the prince because, of course, she doesn't tell him why, because you can't in these kind of films. You just have to say, "I'm sorry, I'm not marrying you anymore, even though I love you." I'm going to have to marry the, I'm going to marry the prince because I just have decided to marry the prince instead of just telling him the truth. So again, the last part of the film is um, how will she essentially get out of marrying the prince? And this is where it gets really dark and really quite interesting, but I'm not going to tell you why again it's pre-code you can tell it's pre-code um, there's a couple of scenes where Carl Lombard is in her underwear um, there's a scene where um, Lyle Talbot is in his underwear there's a scene where Carol Lombard goes to Lyle Talbot's house and spends the night obviously on the couch or something like that um, which, of course, you would never get away with once the Hayes Code came in a couple of years later. Um, and again, Lombard wears very flouncy, very loose-fitting um, tops, shall we say. And again, that would be tightened up, including our tops, um, by the time the Hayes Code came in. So, you know, this is a film, it's 71 minutes, it absolutely rattles along. It's Granted, I'm biased because I absolutely love Carol Lombard um, and her lovely little scar on her cheek, which you can see. It's actually a pretty good print. It's actually a very good print. Um, I do have a few more Carol Lombard um, films in this format. Um, and I was looking on eBay, so there are random DVDs um, of more of her films, which obviously I will be getting. I keep hoping that Kino Lorber might release a Carol Lombard Volume 3 in Blu-ray, or 4, or 5, or 6. Um, as I said, she may not have lived very long, but she did make 101 films. But as I say, a lot of them are like bathing beauty films that she didn't really have any dialogue in. Um, but this is a fascinating little film, because um, again, the ending, even although... In conventional terms, it's as predictable as you would think with that story. As I said, we've seen it lots of times. But how we end up there is really quite dark and poignant. And again, this is a film, you know, if you're not watching it for Carol Lombard, well, you're nuts if you're not watching it for Carol Lombard, um, but Walter Connolly is absolutely fantastic, and Louise Closser-Hale 
is absolutely fantastic as well. Um, she gets all the best dialogue and all the jokes. Um, it's just an absolute joy. Um, that's No More Orchids from 1932. As I say, I like to keep on top of current films. It's just wonderful. Yes, I'm biased because I am a big fan of Carol Lombard. But there's a lot going on. Um, some of the editing choices um, and the kind of shot selection by Walter Lang are actually quite um, interesting and tell the story without dialogue. Um, and the, the eve of the wedding to the prince um, where Walter Connolly is um, taking Lombard on a little detour is just quite moving because you know what's in Walter Connolly's mind um, and of course Carol Lombard doesn't um, and that whole kind of tragic ending is merely set off just by a comment a non kind of named character makes so it's a really interesting not a twist on that predictable script but just an, a lovely riff on that predictable script of women meant to marry you know an arranged square but falls in love with the good old guy who money's not important to him and only true love matters blah 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 um, but this is an interesting riff on it and as I say it does get dark at the end in a fairly surprising and quite difficult to watch if you're a Carol Lombard fan. So thanks very much for watching this random review of No More Orchids from 1932. Please let me know if you've seen No More Orchids and where you can find a Blu-ray of it and hopefully you'll join me again for more random reviews. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films saying farewell.